Now, most of you probably haven't heard of ACS Claims, but they're the claims management company that's been dealing with claims of insurer ANSVAR. ACS Claims have now settled over 90% of their residential and commercial claims. Let's take a look at what they've been doing. My name is John Kenny. I'm the manager of ACS Claim Services. ACS was the business formed after Ansvar Insurance ceased trading and we manage off all of the claims for Ansvar Insurance customers. We had about 2,800 claims for Ansvar. Um, we've settled now 94% of all customers' claims and about 75% of overcap domestic claims. My name's Winston Saunders, I'm 66 years old. And uh, Alistair Saunders, I'm uh, uh, 68 years of age. We bought, we bought this property as our retirement home and although we weren't retired when we bought it, that was our aim. Our insurance company ha have been for quite a number of years is Ansvar. The, the damage by the February earthquake was very substantial. It's one of those properties that um, was borderline for a rebuild, but the homeowners were very house proud and wanted to keep what they had. So we sort of did everything we could to make sure it, um, they got back what they want in a much better state. And the good thing about now they're reinsured and uh, can move on, don't have to worry about earthquakes. The biggest challenges of settling residential claims over the last four years have been communication with customers, the sheer challenge of dealing with new overcap claims many years after the earthquakes, and the complexity of the engineering solutions required for TC3 land in particular and the ability to sheer resource the work, whether that be loss adjusters, engineers, contractors. Hi, my name is Cesar Mathias and Alan and I have lived here uh, since 1957 when he had the first house rebuilt. We have been insured with ACS, uh, which was formerly ANSVAR, for many years. What happened in the earthquakes was that the uh, old house moved both ways. So going up the hall we were uphill and um, uh, standing in the kitchen we were dropped uh, over 100 mils and, and it made it quite difficult living in it for three years like that. But we hung in, hung in there. So it's a 1950s bungalow, um, had around 150 millimetres of settlement in multiple areas in the house. and. Um, Pretty much like most places in this area, it, it, it got a fair shake. And ground's not great, um, so we've ended up having, pretty much looking at replacing cladding, replacing windows, replacing roof, a lot of the linings, and it got to the point where it was borderline for a rebuild or repair. Repairable house, um, but you put into the contingencies and the risks associated with sort of fixing up an older house, it, it put it towards a new build, which is great, which is what the homeowners wanted. And it's another really good story of you know people want to stay in their community um, and ensure sort of fronting up and doing what they should do and uh, letting people sort of move on. Your house, warm, you know, insulated, it's, it's quiet, it's, everything's new, it's safe and um, they can get on with their lives. So you know, we're, we're very proud to be able to associate with these sorts of projects. Our involvement with Rangirui High School were, we were the commercial property insurers of the school. Uh, we worked with the school board to agree an amicable cash settlement and as you can see it's a very inspiring project. Very unusual event and, and we lost a good portion of our campus. We are conscious that the education for the girls and the spaces that are required for educating them to the next hundred years are quite different from the campus that we had. So really the earthquake uh, coming along and, and cleaning out 60% of our campus was really the opportunity. So we've ended up with a settlement that goes probably about 50% of the total redevelopment vision that we have. Um, and so it's given us the opportunity to build the campus uh, like that, that we have here, which is really quite unique spaces. We were the insurers of Knox Church. Um, we worked with the owners to reach an amicable cash settlement and as you can see it's a magnificent job they've done. 
we've found ACS quite wonderful to work with. When, they, when the decision was made that ANZAR was pulling out and ACS would be set up to um, settle claims, we were um, of the view that we'd want to get on with that process. And so we were one of the early denominations to get through that. And we've been able to be given more room to do our own thing afterwards. We've been very happy with the settlement and we had, we were representing about 28 or 30 churches in Canterbury and all of them have kind of been pleased with how it's worked out and been able to get on with their lives. So it's been a good process for us. The remaining challenges for the domestic claims in particular is the speed it is taking to start repairs and rebuilds. We're finding it's immensely complex with delays in, throughout the process, particularly the consenting process and the availability of contractors and reach an agreement with customers on the scope of repairs because they have to sign the contract for the consenting process. In hindsight, what would we have done differently to speed up the settlement of claims? I think we would have started and moved on with repairs and rebuilds faster. There must have been a better way that we could have found to streamline the process and to improve handoffs and um, between the different experts. We just absolutely thrilled with uh, the process and what they've done and um, gone the extra mile at times and, and we're very happy. I think Ansva, uh, because they put a package together and it wasn't fragmented, it just meant so much to us, didn't it? And, and it just, from that point on, it just took the weight off us really. It was great. When we come back, we'll be looking at a day in the life of a contractor in the Canterbury Home Repair Programme. <laughs>